welcome to my youtube channel congratulations as you are now true from the, the intermediate microsoft Excel users and beyond now microsoft Excel is a big application that has got a lot going on inside of it so what you have gone through here it is just a portion of it although intermediate level portion of microsoft Excel, but there is much more more than to learn so take some time to develop the skills that you are now learning right from through the outro of this channel and then progress into some more advanced topics which i am about to start from this moment but once again congratulations on completing this course and welcome to the part of mastering microsoft excel as advanced level in my last video tutorial I talk about how to consolidate data from multiple worksheets. Today, we are moving into the advanced level of Microsoft Excel and I am starting from working with Excel name ranges. Before we jump in and start to master the conditional logic based functions that are found within the Microsoft Excel, I want to introduce you to a concept that you are going to work with throughout in your career when using functions or formula inside of Excel and this deals with the concept core name ranges typically I am going to give you an example here and basically when you want to build in let's say sum up range of cell Alright, so for example, looking at the example file that I have opened in front of you right now, I've got some weekly data sales which are week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4 and the total for car manufacturer sales analysis ranging from the week 1, week 2, week 3 and week 4. Now, at the bottom of each of those column here i have got weekly sales total and i would like to sum up this weekly sales total with this way we can compare values between the various weeks also get the values that make up the total sales in respect of car make for the year all right now typically if I am going to do that, how we sum up individual sales, I will say, if I want to do that, I will say equal to, right? Then right, type in sum, then open up my parentheses. Now, using this sum function, and now I'm going to grab the range. Of cells that I am going to sum up with here now, which is what from cell B5 down to what I'll hold on to my ship, then down to what cell B9, then I will close up my what parentheses, then and eat on what enter key. Now, this is a standard approach and very typical approach to set up a range of cells and we do this by grabbing what the range of cells that we, we want to work what, with now an alternative to this is called a name range however rather than summing up the cell b5 down to what cell, uh, cell b9 i want to sum up a group of cells that is called week one just by referencing it and this is done by what is called name ranges now what is the purpose of name ranges well very simple name range is another way to reference a group of words so however i am no longer referencing them by columns right or by rows address but i am referencing them both by what name that we established for that group of all say now take a look this is super simple to create to create and i'm going to do it on what on week two so first step 
a source of it in order to create the name range you got to select the cell that you want a name so i'm going to grab the cell fifth cell c5 here i'm going to grab the cell c5 through down towards cell c9 good which is what we do data then i'm going to go up just next to my formula bar at the left at the left hand side here i have i have my what a name box a name box here you can see name box now i will change the so i will change this five hmm, to week two underscore with 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 underscore two rather now please note i'm using underscore here because name ranges will not allow space spaces in the name so this is quite simple to do just give it a name select the cell and give it a name now i'm going to eat on what on my word enter key good make sure you hit the enter key after you are done naming the ring and now i'm going to jump down towards to my word cell c10 this is my cell c10 to perform another sum function now if i click on the word it says c10 then type equal to then sum open up your parentheses so but rather than grabbing c5 to c now what i'm going to sum up this what am i going to sum up this right now that is week two right then we are going to type week underscore two right now with underscore two we can see that as i type it it, it brought out what week underscore two so just double click on it now close your word parenthesis and hit on what enter key wow you can you can now see now i have sum up that range of cells by utilizing what the name range really simple just highlight a group of cells jump up to the wall to the top where you got the wall the name range name range box maybe once again i'm going to perform the same process what in week three then i'm going to highlight the cell d5 all right i'll hold on to my shift key then drag it down good down to all say d9 good then i'll hover down uh, up to my word to my name box at the far back up here then i'm going to change this one to one to week underscore three good and then and don't forget never give space when inside your names and now then i'm going to hit on my word enter key good now and um and now i can now use that in my formula that is week three which is what uh, which is next now so i will move down to my d10 here right here in in my then i will click i will type in equal to then open up my parentheses in sum sorry equal to sum then open up my parentheses then type in week you can see that week three has already shown at the display here just give it a double click then close your words parentheses then it was enter key you can now see that really simple to create just align the group of cell give it a name use that name within your formula in this sense you can actually use it for more than just formula if i jump up to the word to the name box right open and click on the word the drop down arrow i will get a list of all the name ranges that it maybe week one week two week three of one and so on and so forth so if i pick on if i if i select any one of them it will take me to that 
location so i selected week two and it took me down to one week two analysis here it is just a really quick way to navigate a larger set of data just give it a name name range and allow you to just select from a pick of list this is this sample file is what i am going to continue to use as we go through this video tutorial course we could sum up range of cell by column or row that is or you can quickly give them a name and then use use that so try this out open up an, any z document document file grab a group of cell like the week one week two and so on and so forth data or whatever you want give it a name and then use it in a formula so just, just try it out so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i will keep giving you more of the excel functions bye